Okay, so welcome to this um, this little video on the first success distribution, which is extremely extremely related uh, to the uh, geometric distribution. And some people would call the first success distribution the geometric distribution. So I just want to uh, make a video clarifying the difference between the first success distribution and what we've been calling the geometric distribution. Okay. So the first success distribution has exactly the same setup as the geometric distribution. I, you start uh, with a probability space, and you're looking at um, every single possible outcome of flipping a coin uh, countably infinitely many times. So you have every single outcome in here, so you get heads, tail, 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 heads, for instance, and you go on. Uh, and in the geometric distribution, we ask... Um, uh, we well, what we do is we set up a random variable. Uh, so let's say x is going to be distributed geometrically with parameter p, where p is the probability of uh, given the f any flip that you get ahead. Uh, we set up a random variable which um, maps you onto zero, one, two, etc., and it's going to map each um, it's going to map each outcome to the number of tails preceding uh, the first head. So it's going to map any outcome onto number of tails preceding the first head preceding first head and we say that that is distributed geometrically now if we want to make a first success distribution we'll call this y uh, where y is going to be distributed first success p fsp uh, then uh, the way that that is going to be set up and i'm just going to draw the blind so that uh, with the sun doesn't reflect too badly off the paper is that uh, y is going to map um, any outcome onto uh, the number of um, the number of trials uh, needed to get the f needed uh, to get ahead. So it's how many times you had to flip the coin to get ahead. Uh, so it's actually equal to the number of tails preceding the head. Um, so again, this is a real number distribution, a real number probability space. Uh, it's actually equal to the number of tails preceding the head plus 1. So y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, uh, so that's how we could describe this uh, first success distribution in terms of y. Okay, uh, so uh, the probability, therefore, that, um, e uh, that y is equal to, let's say, i is going to be the same as the probability that x is equal to uh, i minus 1. Uh, that just follows from the fact that if uh, y is equal to i, that means you get uh, your head on the i one, which means that you get i minus 1 tails on the first thing, so the probabilities have to obviously be the same. And if we want to work out what the expected value of y is, then, uh, well, we can apply, we can think of 1 as being a random variable in itself. We can think of 1 as being a random variable where you just assign to every single, you assign to every single outcome in here. Uh, so let's think of 1 as a random variable where 1 maps uh, every single outcome onto the, uh, onto the real number 1. So it's the set containing just 1. Uh, and that's a random variable. And then if we want to take E the expected value of this random variable, 1, uh, then it's going to be equal to the sum of all possible values you can take, which is, there's only one possible value, times the probability that you take that value, which is obviously the probability of the whole space, because the probability the whole space is mapped onto 1, uh, which is therefore 1, so you get that it's equal to 1. So, the expected value of x, is, of y rather, is equal to the expected value of x plus the expected value of 1, uh, so therefore we get the expected value of y is equal to e of x, uh, plus 1. Uh, so what's the e of x for a, a geometric distribution? We know that that's equal to q over p uh, plus 1. And this is very nice because we can uh, rewrite this as q plus p over p and q plus p is just 1 uh, because q is 1 minus p. So there is um, just a little introduction to the uh, first success distribution, which is this other way of looking at the geometric distribution. And some people, when they say the geometric distribution, what they mean is actually the first success distribution. Or you could call it the first success geometric distribution.